In today's banger video, we are gonna try to beat Minecraft, but there are custom items. There are six different custom items with six different and OP powers and abilities that can make us OP and also help destroy the Ender Dragon. So guys, while you guys are here watching me right now, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and also watch the whole video to find out if I could beat the Ender Dragon or not and of course, the powers and abilities of all the custom items. So yeah, this is gonna be fun and of Talk, sit back, relax. Let's head right into the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is it. This is the moment we have all been waiting for for a long freaking time. It's, it's nothing. It's actually nothing. We have been waiting for nothing all this time. Absolutely nothing. So never mind. I'm just talking crap right now. I don't know why, but for some reason, I just want to waste my time. My precious time. Oh, would you look at that? We just found a village. Here we are inside the village, and there is my boy right there the big guy yo what's good mr tough guy mr iron golem hello there how you doing homie how's your day going is it great are you having fun nope all right well i guess i'll see you in a bit okay well then now that we're inside the village of course it's time for us to get all the food all the hay bales from the village juicy a stack and 41 breads holy crap that's a lot of bread i guess that's more than enough for the entire video yep that is and now of course it's time for us to start working so before I do anything stupid, before anything else, without any further ado, without wasting any time, without doing anything, without... Stop it. Get some help. Let's start doing the basics. Let's get some wood. We already got the crafting table. Let's craft some sticks, a garbage wooden pickaxe, and now time to mine some stones with the garbage wooden pickaxe to get cobblestones and then craft the super slow stone tools, of course, and also the two furnaces. Hello again, big guy. It's me. Yeah, it's Raged Venom. I told you before I would be back in a bit, and here I am. And unfortunately, the time has come for you to die. So I'm so sorry. And please give me at least four hours. Irons. That's that's all I'm asking for. Boom, you're dead, and that was four. Oh gosh, I just called it. Anyways, RIP and thanks a lot for the iron iron golem. And now what I'm gonna do with the four iron ingots we have, let's just go ahead and craft a bucket. So as you guys can see, this water right here. Let me grab that real quick with the water. I mean the with the bucket to get water bucket. And now if I put the water bucket inside the crafting table in any crafting table, we can now craft four eyes. I mean Four eyes? Oh gosh, I didn't expect that. I mean, I knew that I was gonna get eyes from getting, uh, from using the water bucket inside crafting table, but we get four whenever we craft once. I'll take it. So we need nine of it. So let's just get more water and there we go. More eyes. Do the same process until we get nine and there we go. We have enough. Now inside the crafting table, it's time for us to craft our first custom item. All we need to do is just place all these eyes just like that. And by the way, this is normalized and there it is a crafting table a cursor on top of it I don't know what that is, but it says click to craft if I click it we get an ice cube and apparently there is no description So we don't know what it does. We have to test it out. So this villager right here Let's see how much damage this does to the villager. I I just shot it and he just got angry What are you doing? Wait, wait He's he's frozen. Look look at this. I'm trying to push, push it, but he's not moving. Oh, so I get it now. So this thing freezes mobs. All right, well I'll take it. Look at this. I I so when if I hit him, he doesn't move. He doesn't move. That is awesome. Well, you are gonna stay here for the rest of your life. I am so sorry about that, villager. It's getting dark. Let's just go ahead. Wait, actually, never mind. I was about to say, let's go ahead and sleep, but no, we have to kill some creepers. It's completely dark, and look at that. Aggressive mobs have started to spawn. For now, all we need to do is get two gunpowders, and I think I saw... Oh, uh, no, that was just zombie, not creeper. And there it is. There's the creeper right there. All all we need to do is get two gunpowders. Please give me... Oh, okay. Come on, bro. Are you kidding me? That guy dropped me none. But there's another creeper right there. But there's also skeleton, which I don't really like. Boom! There we go. We go. No, no. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Please. 
Do not blow up. Okay, anyways, it blew up. I don't I don't even care. There we go. We got the two gunpowders we need. Now, all that is left for us to do is find a cave. Because we need some iron and also a lot of coppers and a lot of coal for the next custom item. So, come on. Where is a cave? A few moments later. Um, so we did not find a cave, but we found another village. All right, well, there we go. We can get all the iron we need over there itself. All right, cool. Uh, what the heck is this village? Um, hello? Are you kidding me? We not only found a village, we also found a big freaking giant cave as well. Dude, what is going on right now? Look at this village. It's an abomination. Are you kidding me? Bro, what the heck is going on? But I'll take it. We are getting everything we need now. Uh, before anything else, let me just go ahead and sleep because we got everything we need from all the aggressive mobs. I mean, we just needed gunpowder. But now, we can go ahead and craft the next custom item. And for for that, all we need to do is inside the crafting table, we first have to craft some iron nuggets. There we go. Now, we just have to kill the iron golem again. Boom! You're dead. And that was how many... F five okay the most i could get and now we have everything so all we need to do is two of these iron nuggets right over there and two of these iron ingots right there and two gunpowders right over there we get uh, another click to craft sign thing i don't know what this is but if i click it we get a creeper gun and it's unbreakable there's also no description so you guys uh, can guess it this is gonna be uh, op well i mean i hope so so let's just go ahead and try this out so now if i right Click. Yup, I it makes sense. The gun makes sense. The name of the gun. And also the texture, I guess. Cause look at that. That looks awesome, dude. That is actually accurate. Not gonna lie. It is actually a creeper gun. We throw out creeper whenever we right click. That is awesome. That is actually really useful and might be a bit dangerous for us else as well. Cause it can damage us. No, that's that's not good. Not gonna lie. Creepers do a lot of damage so i gotta be careful about that anyways now let's just go ahead and get down the the cave that we found earlier we have to get a lot more iron i guess a bit more not a lot more but we do have to get a lot of coal and a lot of copper so yeah this this cave is gonna help us a lot look at all these coal and lo a lots of co copper okay let's just let's just start mining let's just start working let's yeah let's do everything that we can and um yeah we have everything for the next custom item as well oh gosh this was so easy of course we gotta start smelting all the coppers we have into copper ingots and of course guys while it's melting why don't you guys hit the like and subscribe button like this creeper that is trying to kill me no just don't try to kill me just hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell there we go yup we have 10 iron i mean copper ingots now we just have to turn all these copper ingots into a copper block there we go we got the block of copper and also a coal block Block. There we go. We got everything for the next custom item. Inside the crafting table, we just have to place two sticks just like that. One iron ingot in the middle and one block of copper right there uh, at the right side of the ing iron ingot. And one block of coal on the left side. We get click to craft if I click it. There we go. Or pickaxe. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'll take it. That looks sick. And also sounds sick, bro. Let's, let's test it out. Bro, I, I cannot wait. Well, the mining is kind of fast. Yeah, I mine pretty quickly. Six attack damage. So I guess that's like a diamond or a netherite pickaxe. I don't know. So let's see what it does. If I right click, no, no, nothing's happening. What if I mine a block? Oh, okay. Now, I, okay, now I get it. It, it. it all makes sense now. So as you guys can see, this pickaxe right here. It has the diamond block, iron block, uh, emerald block, redstone, iron, and gold, and uh, copper, lapis. So that is all the blocks we can get as soon as we mine any block. And yeah, we get blocks of those ores. Yeah, blocks. That... Dude, that is amazing. Why am I mine? Look at that. Wait, what the heck is going on? This is awesome. Wait, I think I, I might have just found an exploit or something. Oh, as you guys can see. Okay, wait, hold on. I have an idea. So if I just blow that up, uh, that, that gave us some stones, right? If I do that... Wow, I am a genius. Oh, and by the way, it doesn't work on these these andesites and these uh, these things. These blocks, do you right? Oh, okay, that's fine. Whatever. Look at this diamond blocks. Oh, oh my god. 
we have six. Okay, 50. You know what? Straight away, as we have so many diamonds, let's just go ahead and craft full diamond armor. There we go. And also full diamond tools as well. Actually, I don't need a pickaxe since we have an OP or pickaxe. That's awesome. And now there's only one last custom item left that we can craft in the old world. For the next custom item, we have to kill some cows. We need leathers. And also we do need some gold. Uh, we have a gold block, by the way, so we don't have to worry about that. And look at all these cows. Give me all the leather. Come on, bro. Why are you not dropping... What is wrong with you guys? Why are you guys not dropping leathers? Finally. Dude, that is not enough. We need three more. I just got one leather after killing that many cows. Like, three cows. And I, I don't like killing cows or any, <coughs> any other mobs. What? Stop the cow. Oh, yeah. Okay, more cows right over there. I am trying to kill so many cows, but no leathers are being dropped. And there we go. We got another uh, leather, but I need two more. I guess you guys are not hitting the like and subscribe button. C come on, guys. Just do it right now. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And also... Minecraft gods, please have some mercy. Stop wasting my time. More cows are right here. All I need is two more leathers. Finally, we got it. Oh my gosh. Anyways, now time for the fun part inside the crafting table. If I place four of these leathers just like that and one gold. I, I have gold block. Are you kidding me? There we go. We got the gold ingot. Now one gold ingot in the middle. There it is. Click to craft. If I click it, we get a piglin now wait what it's it says armor so i think i think i gotta wear this there we i wore it oh it's it's, it's just a golden helmet what the heck what is so special about it um nothing's really happening if i right click what if i mine a block no, no, nothing's happening what is what do i do with this um i have no idea what if i ki kill a mob okay that does nothing as what the heck just happened what did i just get i got a lot of gold stuff what if, what did just happen i think i i shift Oh, okay. Now, hold on a second. First of all, now I get it how it works. Second of all, we are getting a lot of god apples. What the heck is going on? What the heck is wrong with this helmet? This is not a normal helmet. All right, let's just, let's just shift and let's let's keep. Look at all the gold block. Oh, I have full inventory of gold uh, nuggets and okay, cool. What is? What is happening? A stack of golden apples. We don't care. We have 28 enchanted golden apples. God apples. Oh, I am freaking done. I'm just gonna keep shifting until I get full stack of almost. Okay. We almost have a stack of enchanted golden apples and uh, almost there. Well then, um, this is gonna be no problem for us to trade with the piglins. So today we are gonna be trading with the piglins. Yeah, since we have a lot of gold to spare and we have unlimited by the way. So we are gonna do that. But before that, we have to get inside the nether. So let's do that. Let's try to find a lava pool. Uh, so um, first of all, we found a, a lava pool, of course, as you guys can see. And also we found a village. Okay. Hey, cool. But that doesn't really matter because we have everything. All the items we need for us to kill the ender dragon as well. But now, without a waste of time, it's time for us to craft or create our own portal to the nether. Boom! There we go. The portal is done. Now let's light the portal up. And now it's time for us to get inside the nether. And here we are inside the nether. And we are in nether waste and in Souls and Valley. I don't know which one. But now we just have to find either a nether fortress or some piglins to trade with. So let's see what we find first. Two hours later. Alright, well, um, piglins it is. Yo, what's up? How you doing? I have a golden helmet on. So that is why they're not able to notice me. But why is there a freaking hoglet that's trying to kill me? Look at this. Can you stop it? Oh, gosh. Finally. There we go. Now, it's uh, apparently time for you to please give me some ender pumps. All right, please. Just take all the golds you can. There we go. Oh, well, hello there. We just got looting three golden sword. This is going to be very useful. Yup, this is about to take a while. Oh, thanks for the obsidian. Six and a half hours late. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. There we go. I guess it's it's done. We have a stack and seven ender pumps. And also, we have 24 obsidians. Yup, we are good. You guys can have fun. Those golds are yours. I don't even want them. Now, we have to find a nether fortress. So let's do that. Let's try to find a nether fortress. 
Oh, and there it is. We found it. We found the nether fortress. This is perfect. Now, we just have to hope that there's a lot of wither skeletons in it. Because we have to get one wither skeleton skull. And we do have looting. Looting sword. Uh, where did it go? Yep, there it is. There's the looting three sword. Let's get it out. And here we are inside the nether fortress. Before we get one wither skull, let's just go ahead and find the blaze spawner. Where is it? Oh, and there it is. We found it. We found the blaze spawner and there we go the blaze has just spawned it's time for us to kill some blazes to get a lot of blaze rods uh, oh, okay, so 17 blaze ones. All I did was kill like what four or five blazes and there we go We got everything we need and there's a lot more blazes spawned right here Where are the wither skeletons now? I hope there's a lot of them here because this is about to take a long freaking time uh, Yeah, okay this hopefully I can get it faster dude. I just need one wither skeleton skull eventually Oh, wait, there we go. We we got it. Oh my goodness. There we go. We got the wither skeleton skull. We can go ahead and craft the next custom item. And for that, inside the crafting table, if I place two of these blaze rods just like that and one wither skeleton skull right over there, we get the crafting table with the cursor on top of it. I don't know what that is, but click to craft. If I click it, we get another staff. What, what the heck is going on? Wait, why are they taking damage? What the heck is... I have to test it out. I don't know what it does. I have to see what it does. So, there are some mobs right there. If I right-click... No freaking... No way. Okay, not only I wither it, I also throw wither skeleton skull at it. So, I'm basically like a wither boss. Bro, that is awesome. Look at the... Yo, this is okay. There is no cooldown. So whenever I stand next to a mob, it gets poison effect. Well, I mean wither effect. Oh, and by the way, what if I shift? What the heck is that? Why is there fire right there? What is that fire? What am I summoning? What? I have no idea what's going on right now. I'm summoning in some fires? I I have no idea. I gotta use this on a flat surface, I guess. That's that's the way I can get to know. All right, then. Now we are done crafting all the custom items that can be crafted in the nether and in the old world. So now all that is left for us to do is craft the next and the last custom item that can only be crafted in the end. So let's do that. Let's get inside the end. Before that, first of all, before we craft or create our own portal, let's just go ahead and turn all the blaze rods into blaze powders. 34 holes. Holy crap, that's a lot. And let's turn all the ender pulse and the blaze powders into eyes of ender. And there it is. 23 eyes of ender. We can get more. But now we are done. Let's just go ahead and craft or create our own portal to the old world. Boom, there we go. The portal is done. Let's light it up. And now it's time for us to get back to the old world. And here we are. We are back to the old world and we are in a cave. Okay, this is great. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, first of all, let's just get back to the surface real quick. And here we are. We are back at the surface and we are in a freaking ocean. I... I don't like this. Why is this happening to me? Let's see where the eyes of Ender goes. It, it goes that direction. Okay, let's go. And now it's time for us to find the stronghold. One eternity later. Oh, there we go. It's going down. It's going straight down right over here. Now let's just stick straight down until we find the stronghold. And there we go. Here we are inside the stronghold. Now we just have to find the portal room. Where is the freaking portal room? Oh, and there it is. We found it. We found the portal room and there's already two eyes of ender in the portal. Let's be honest. That doesn't really matter. But whatever. Let's just fill the portal up real quick. And boom. There we go. The portal is done. It's lit. Let's set our spawn point right here. And now we are good to go. We have all the custom items in our hot bar. And there's one last custom item that we can craft in the end. So let's do that. Let's get inside the end and defeat the ender dragon once and for all. So let's do that. Let's go inside and cause chaos let's freaking do this let's go and here we are we are inside the end and there's the ender dragon bar let's dig straight up to the surface and we are up in the surface we are also in the middle and there's the ender dragon right there first of all before we take down all the end crystals let's just go ahead and get four of these I already got it. I am so dumb. There we go. We have 34. What am I doing? Like, why am I so airheaded? Now, we just have to get one ender pearl, by the way. Boom. There we go. We got it. Inside the crafting table, if I place four of these end stones just like that, two sticks right over there, and one ender pearl above the sticks, there we go. Click to craft. If I click it, we get an ender hammer. When in main hand, look at the attack damage. 
0.9 attack speed and 14 attack damage and it's unbreakable yo that is sick but it doesn't really have any description we have to take it out but the ender dragon is purging as well okay this is perfect so what if i right click oh no okay okay i got it so this thing teleports and it does a lot of damage as well wait what the heck what the wait hold on what is what is happening to the Enderman? The other ability of this uh, hammer is that whenever I hit a mob, it gets levitation. And guys, there we go. We have now completed crafting all the custom items. And now all that is left for us to do is, of course, to defeat the Ender Dragon. So let's do that. Let's just, first of all, let's uh, get all the end crystals. Uh, yeah, so um, first of all, I have taken down all the end crystals. And second of all, the Ender Dragon is perching. And third of all, uh, as you guys can see, if I shift, um, yeah, the game lags, and also I have no idea what it does. Look at all these things. I am just lighting everything on fire. All right, whatever. Anyways, there's a dragon head right there. Okay, there. We oh my goodness! Look at the damage, dude. That is awesome. I do so much damage. All right, well there we go. Another punch. That was quick. Come on, Ender Dragon. You gotta die. I'm quitting you. There we go. You're half way dead. And you Oh yeah, come on baby, there we go, it's putting. Give me the head, yeah, there we go, I'm dealing so much damage, holy crap, Ender Dragon, come on, you're freaking done. One last put and you are done for, you're dead, I'm gonna erase you from this entire world. And there it is, there's the Ender Dragon's final put. Why is the Ender Dragon so desperate to die, but whatever, there we go, if I hit it one more time, it's dead. There it is, we have now defeated the Ender Dragon like, like it's actually not. There's the dragon egg right there. And there we go. We got the dragon egg. That was actually really okay. Not gonna lie. But anyways, guys, if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And also, check out the data pack right now. The link is down in the description. You guys can also have fun just like me. Well, I guess I'll just lag my game for a bit. Oh gosh, no, no. I am, no, I'm not gonna try this. No, this is, yeah, this, and this is gonna break my PC. But anyways, I'm gonna end this video right here, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video but until then have a great day see ya bye